Peer review, Ballast Point. Big Eye. It's uh let me do something right here. It's a uh, Indian Pale Ale. I think it's like seven percent alcohol. Let me see here. Yeah, it's a big IPA with hoppy brew. Thanks from American Columbus Centennial varieties we favor. A bit of dry hop welding. Just talk about it. Um, it's the alcohol percentage is probably seven percent alcohol. Yeah, seven percent by volume. Decent price. Decent price. That's why I bought it. This big bottle, two two three bucks. Is a twenty four ounce. Yeah, like three bucks. That's 24 ounces, I think. But I just wanted to taste it. Uh, I had their scalpel in. Didn't like it. I did not, not like it. This is the price point on the scalp on the beer of scalpel in it was too high. It's like 14 bucks a six pack. So they have beers that I've tasted or said they were lagers. They weren't. I know the names of them. I'm just trying to. What was it? Calico? It was supposed to be a Hell's. <laughs> Uh, Heel Heels uh, German lager was didn't taste like an American wheat beer. So um, I'm iffy about these uh, some of these brew. I mean, with IPAs, it's a dime a dozen. Most of them are 80% or A to me. A or 80% to 90% of A beers. Here, I want. I shouldn't have tasted it. It's more of a darker grapefruit, citrusy. Good smell of maltiness, caramel. Has the lace in them. It's sipping on it. Ballast Point Big Eye. Trying to get it. There we go. But uh, yeah, it has good. It has a good taste. A really good taste. It's tropical, citrusy, earthy. Kind of a citrus zest to it. It's it's an excellent beer. It's the best beer I've had from them. You know, it's just not you're not drinking a lager. You can taste uh it's not smooth. It's a drink, it's a highly drinkable, drinkable enough if you're a young kid. If you're if you're older, you can have one or two, but kid could probably get like a six pack down of this. this but it's not easy drinking. These American pale ales. Just notice that. Drinking all these American Pales, lagers are twice as drinkable, more crisp to them. That's why people drink lagers. But there's nothing wrong with American Pale, nothing wrong with lagers. Nothing wrong with the German Pilsner, German uh, Hills Lager, American Natural Lager, uh, European Lager, nothing wrong with those. But this is a good, good, it's a good, very good beer to excellent. In a crowded field of IPAs, <laughs> I have a dozen, but they're good ones. I had the bad ones. Trust me, I had some bad ones before. I got citrusy, hoppy, some kind of a orange breadiness to it, kind of a peachness to it. It's not light, probably medium to heavy. Uh, I give it a they're very good. 92. It's almost excellent. If I had a couple more, I might rate it excellent. Um, I think they were bought out too, uh, Ballast Point. Like, like a billion dollars. Somebody bought them. Some big what, liquor company bought them. So they're not a craft beer anymore. <laughs> you know, a lot of a lot of companies were buying, were bought out this year. You even know that. It wasn't around the beer industry. I was just I had I didn't review beers because I was drinking beers that I've been reviewed. But uh yeah, I mean Ballast Point was bought out. Who else? Miller was bought out by uh that's a big one by uh Inbev, so I don't know how they're gonna get around with that because of uh uh no competition. It's gonna be a monopoly. You know, ninety percent of the, the, the beer industry, so I don't know how to get around it. Maybe they get rid of Light beer. I've read the articles, and uh, they're sitting in a rid of uh, light, and they're going to sell it to their other company. So they still own it. So whatever. This is a this is an excellent beer. I mean, 
it's not a craft beer anymore. What do you call it? A big brewery beer? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a it's a nine eighty nine. Very good. More very good than excellent. If I had a little more, enjoyed it. Um, it's not it's not really 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 highly drinkable. It's not light. It's heavy. It has a lot of heavy taste, but it has a lot of taste to it. Um, that's it, man. Big eye with the fish. That's the one thing about their marketing. You know, it's marketing fish. That's why I had had a weird. I always thought it was weird that people in San Diego thought it was a great. This is a great company. It, it's all right. I didn't think it was the best. I, I again, I have quite a few of their beers, like three of them. They would say one thing and it'd be other. Like the hell's their heels. Their heels lager was tasted like American wheat beer, and they had another one that said it was a, a pale ale, which tasted like a, uh, a American wheat beer. It was just they have they just should the, the brewmaster who makes them should know what category they put it in. That's the only problem with it in the marketing, the fish marketing. Who gives a shit? To give me a good beer, I don't like the marketing. It gets it gets kind of goofy. The names they put on these bottles. <laughs> Zombie does who gives a shit. Get a beer, name it some simple name and just give me the beer. It's all a lot of this thing's tricky. Marking like they're gonna sell beer if they give it a great name. It tastes like shit, no one's gonna buy it. And if it tastes the same, no one's gonna buy it. This is a crowded field. Dime a dozen. I like the style, I rate it high. I don't drink I don't rate a lot of these beers really low because I think they're good beers. And if I what else? Like American wheat beers. I don't think they're greatest. I'd rate couple them high. Well, what's the one I would rate high? American wheat beers. American wheat beers. Lagunitas makes a good one because it's hopped out. And another one I'd like is from Hangar 24 because it put oranges in it. And uh, another American wheat beer. That's it. <laughs> American wheat beer. So I like the style of American pale ale. It's a crowded place. And every brewmaster in California to Florida to New York to Chicago makes one and they make them good and they they they, uh, they crafted that beer so that everybody knows how to make it uh, comments questions that's not enough of my rant Ballast Point not a big small brewery and now it's a big huge conglomerate and they're not a craft beer anymore bye bye craft beer Wonder if they lose people from San Diego. It's just it is what it is. It's part of business. He sold out. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Bye.